Hey, Facebook Live, how you doing? Martin Lopez from the Curiosity Theory. I always crack my buddy up all the time. This is my buddy Rico Cavellia from the from Ageless Living Lifestyle. Um, I've known Rico for what, 20 years or so? Uh, I think probably 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> probably 20 years. And we have a lot of friends. We used to play music together and we've done a lot of things together, right? Yeah. And uh this and Thrive Talks. This Thrive Talks, Thrive he was one of the speakers at Thrive Talks. Um, so this is my book, The Curiosity Theory, and I'm doing 31 days of live videos on the curiosity theory. And uh, right now, I was, well, anyways, last night I did a broadcast and I told a story about um, using curiosity on purpose. Like, what does life look like when you use the curiosity theory on purpose? And the story was about this band that I had and how the drummer was yeah. going to get in a fight and, and work, <laughs> it worked itself out. Yeah. And I was talking to Rico because I talked to Rico just about every day. And uh, what did you have to say about that? Yeah, because I've had that experience, and I wish I'd have known about that before. I wish I learned that from you a long time ago, because you know, I played in a lot of bands, and I remember several times, you know, there's always one of our guitar players that if, if I didn't play something just right or mess up stuff, you'd have to make some real bad remark, you know. <laughs> and when you do that, it just creates tension, and it makes, you, know, you don't feel comfortable, and yeah. it makes you more tense, and you want to screw up more instead of... <laughs> so, but I, I didn't realize then, instead of getting upset about it, or kind of, or, or being combative, if I would have used the curiosity, then just say, I'm curious, you know, why? Because I, you know, if you make a wrong note or wrong thing, I don't complain, you know. Yeah. So w yeah. why do you always complain and give me a hard time? If I would just use that, it would have probably got rid of the tension in the, yeah. in the thing, and everybody could have been more relaxed, and it wouldn't have been a big deal. But absolutely. So I just, but I'm so happy I learned that from you now. All right. Well, cool. That's pretty smart. Yeah. So, so what curiosity does is it opens up, it opens up a, a new conversation because, yeah. and what it, what happens is that uh, when, we're, when we're fighting, when we're in conflict, we're dealing with our reptilian brain. That's our fight, flight, or freeze brain. That's yeah. the brain that the dogs have, that the lizards have. That's a lizard brain, they say. And basically what, what reptiles and animals know how to do is they need either, either fight, which is hunting, right. or run away, right. you know, get, get out of here because this is dangerous, or freeze and don't do anything and hope danger goes away. Right. And we as human beings, we have that in us still. Yeah. And um, so when we're when we're when we f we have conflict, what happens is what happens in in, in, in the moments of conflict is we experience that mode. Our our brain our brain goes to that mode. Like let me get out of here. Or let me fight. Or let me just like you know hope hope you know everything works out and just be quiet. And um, for me in the band when that was happening, when Patrick and Adam were at it, um, I was at first I was like oh. Oh man, you know, and then, <laughs> yeah. and then I took a breath. I took a second. I said, "Hey, I want to use this curiosity theory thing," and I didn't know what I was going to ask, but it was obvious. So I said, "Hey, Patrick, I was just wondering. You know, I was curious," and that's what happened. So that opened it up. And and when you ask somebody a question, you're no longer or even ask yourself a question. You're no longer operating in this reptilian brain, because our brains, the way that our brains work, is if you ask yourself a question or ask somebody a question, and if they if they if they're willing to take on that question. The brain has to get the answer, right? Like, well, right. I think it's also it's also been proven that when you ask somebody a question, it, it's our nature, human nature, that if somebody asks a question, we want to answer the question. <laughs> that's right. That's it's right. Really that's really great. Yeah. We really want to answer the Absolutely. question. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what else I want to say too was, you know, instead of taking offense at what people say, uh -huh. if you just get curious of why they say, it, because really most of the time we take things so personal, right? Absolutely. And it's not yes. personal. Yeah. If somebody maybe is giving you a hard time. It's probably because they're having a hard time or they're unhappy with themselves. Yeah. It's, but we always take things too personal. Like, yeah. hey, what are you talking about me? You know, you just, so you get so combative right away. <laughs> yeah. And realize, hey, I just, if we just ask, you know, what's going on with them, then you can kind of chill things out, you know? I always find it's really powerful to discover that. Like, yeah. it's really cool to, like, really find out what's going on with the other person. Because I find that I think I know, but I find that mostly yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know. Don't make any assumptions. Right? Don't make any assumptions. This is the, <laughs> like the, the, four, the four agreements. The four yeah. agreements. Yeah. yeah, Don Miguel Ruiz he says that. Yeah. Don't assume anything or don't, don't anything. make assumptions. Yeah. yeah. So that's and don't, a, take, and don't take things personal. That's, don't take anything, that's don't right. Take things and always try your best. And try your best. <laughs> What's the other one? And be be, be, be too, impeccable too, with your word. Be impeccable with your word. Yeah. Those are great. Those, those are, are awesome. Really and awesome. that you know that really is is this, those, those are really good you know get good rules to to live life by. And I think you live that way, and I certainly. Try to live my life that well, way. No, but that was a big help when you. I think this book is really going to help a lot of people. It's, it's a really good idea, Martina. It really is. Seriously, you know, to be just be curious and just ask questions, and it just 
I think it really dissolves a lot of the tension. I appreciate that. It's cool, man. The whole idea, Rico, like I told you, is like I'm not, you know, I, I don't think I, I have delusions of grandeur where, you know, people have books and it says, you know, the the you know the New York Times bestseller. Yeah. I'm not even all about that. You know me. That's all, like, that's all BS. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm not interested in like, you know, putting a false claim. Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe 30 people have bought my book. Hey, thank you for all you 30 people that have bought my book. And that's yeah. it. And I'm grateful for that. Yeah. I've given away way more books than I've sold. Uh, but I've had a lot of people come to me and say, Martine, this book really helped me. Yeah, it, 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 me, no question, it does. I mean, that, that's such a good, a good thing you came up with. And Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. So this is Rico Cavalia. So Rico, tell, tell my friends, yes. what do you do? Well, I teach what I call the ageless living lifestyle. And it's a lifestyle that I believe uh, very strongly that will give most everybody the best possibility to avoid disease uh -huh. and old age and live a much healthier, energetic, vital, long life, which I'm sure we all want, you know. And the way I developed this was, you know, I've been a personal trainer now for, and health coach for about 35 years. And back in about year 2000, when I first found out that science said that we should be, our life, uh, our lifespan, our genetic potential is to stay healthy to 125. That's cool. 125. That'd be awesome. I know. That's, a, that's our, our genetic potential. But yet we know that the life, you know, the expectancy in America is only about 80. Yeah. So I go, man, wait a minute. That means most people are missing out on 40, 45 years. So I began to investigate, you know, why is this happening you to You were us? curious. Yeah, I was curious. That's right. That's right. I was curious. I saw, so I started asking questions. I was curious. Why is this happening? And of course, we we know the major reason is lifestyle. You know, we live so what in we eat, of, right? We have bad food. We have so much toxic uh, chemicals in our environment. Uh, we eat unhealthy processed foods. We don't get enough exercise. We get too much stress. Yeah. All the things that our body requires to function and stay healthy, we're doing. Too many people are doing just we're the, doing opposite, the opposite. Yeah. Thing, yeah. You know. Yeah. So that's kind of my mission is to try and teach people and help people out to realize that we can stay healthy and live a lot longer and. Yeah. And, and actually, my main motive for that is, as you know, we have so many serious challenges in the world these days, you know, including our environment and everything else, and we're mm -hmm. still having wars and killing each other, right? And so w we need more people as we grow older to w inquire wisdom and knowledge yeah. and things that can give back. Well, that's the way the Indians did it. The Native longer. Americans, that's the way so many other cultures do it other than us, is that we, we have so much respect and we actually we seek the, the counsel and the wisdom the of, the peop of people older than us. Yeah, yeah. but, but today, so many of the people get older, they're, all, they're, all, they're, they're just in the hospital all the time. We're taking away drugs and stuff. And they, yeah. So that's a, to me, that's a sad situation. So I want more people to be healthier and live longer so we can all contribute and make a difference in the world so we can have a, a world that's prosperous and peaceful and fair for everyone. I love this guy. He's always got him. <laughs> you operate from the heart, brother. You yeah, operate yeah. from the heart. Yeah. Yes. Rico has always operated from the heart. He plays his drums. These are his drums. He plays drums from the heart. Uh, everything he does is, is from the heart. I love this guy. Um, he's always giving. This guy is a giver. I mean, he's given me and supported me more than anybody, you know, just a lot. And I really appreciate just that. Just some exercise and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> pushes me to exercise. He pushes me to eat better. So yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah, but I appreciate yeah. everything you do. And the cool thing about Rico is 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 you always you're always curious. That's what I know about you. Is you're always yeah, you're yeah, always yeah. investigating what what else can you do for your own self and for other people. I think that's one of the real keys to longevity too. Mm -hmm. it's, it's playing your brain. You know, keep curious and keep learning. Always keep learning, and investigating, and learn more. There's so much things that like like thing we don't know what we don't know, right? Yeah. There's yeah. so much things. I always wonder how can people get bored with their life. Oh, I know. It's funny. People are yeah. bored. Yeah, my kids I mean, are so they're bored. I'm like, really? And enjoy it. Yeah. And find out. I mean. That's what, what keeps me motivated is just, what, what am I going to discover and, 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 and just like now we discovered the curiosity theory, you know? Just what are you going to learn next? That's so cool. Yeah. That's what keeps you excited, you know? Yes. What's so the on? hashtag is stay curious, my friend. So I want, to, want you guys to have a great Friday uh, <laughs> evening. Uh, God bless you. I love you guys and appreciate you guys taking some time. And what does that mean? Tell me what that means. Just from the heart. Yeah. From the heart. Yeah. Now my buddy Armando Aguilar does this. He has a oh, yeah. he has a he has this as a sign. Yeah. It's, and it's what he's doing is he's he's actually promoting it and I'm gonna have him on the curiosity. This is the, the he's gonna let me tell you this, he's, he's gonna promote it and he's looking to have movie stars and all kinds of people promote this. Oh yeah. It's about like one love kind of peace yeah. and all that I stuff. I like people do that. Yeah. 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 It's cool. So all right, thanks a lot. We'll see you tomorrow, Rico. <laughs> thanks fun. a lot, man. Thanks. Appreciate you coming and checking it out. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.